Hey Pirates, it's me, Mrs. Canfield here, and I am here to read you another book in the Little Spot of Emotion box set. Um, today, uh, I felt like we should focus on peaceful. The reason why is because our, in our last video, we talked about anxiety, and we learned a great technique on calming our anxiety. Do you remember with our hand, we would trace from our anxious spot down to our peaceful spot? Well, I figured it would be a great idea to tell you a little bit more about what what your peaceful spot would be, what that would mean. So we're going to read a little peaceful spot. So that's gonna be the, um, the actual book we're gonna to read today and it's a story about mindfulness. So we'll go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Peaceful Spot. Your peaceful spot helps you feel relaxed and calm. And today I'm going to show you how to get to your peaceful spot. Oh, wow, I'm so excited. Ta-da, here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now, it's really easy to spot. There's the peaceful spot. But when a big spot of emotion shows up, it can become overwhelming, and then it can be hard to see this calm, peaceful spot. That's why it's important to look for your peaceful spot as soon as one of these spots of emotion starts to get too big. But first, you need to identify what spot of emotion shows up. So there's a couple of different spots of emotion that might show up that you might need your peaceful spot for. Is it your angry spot? Are you feeling frustrated because you can't find something? Or annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out like you expected? You guys felt that way, frustrated or annoyed that something didn't turn out how you wanted it to? Or your anxiety spot. Are you feeling worried about trying something new or scared that you won't pass your test? We kind of talked about anxiety yesterday. Or is it your sadness spot? Are you feeling lonely because no one will play with you or disappointed because you dropped your delicious popsicle? Each emotion can manage in a different way. That is why it's important to identify which one you are feeling. So here's some of the different emotions that you might feel to where you might need that peaceful spot. So you might feel nervous, worried, scared or disappointed, lonely, or lost, or even annoyed, or hurt, or frustrated. So you see all those different spots, they kind of have funny faces. Once you have identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide it to your peaceful spot. If you are having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion it is, it can help if you write or draw how you are feeling. So go ahead and write or draw how you're feeling, and there'll be an activity at the end of this video. Now it's time to turn that spot of emotion into a peaceful spot. Sometimes it helps to fill your peaceful spot with a lot of amazing, peaceful things. Let's find out what some of those peaceful things look like. Let's look at some times when you were peaceful. Let's add those things to your peaceful spot. Get some crayons and paper for some peaceful coloring. Or find some peaceful music. How about some books for peaceful reading and writing? Or some peaceful pictures for meditation? Let's add a chart for calm breathing too. Spot pattern breathing is to breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So see, it's a pattern across around everything. Imagine a pattern of several green spots. Breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots. My emotions are now in this peaceful place. I will be calm when I leave this space. That's what you would just be imagining, those swirls and then those dots. And that's how you breathe in and breathe out. Here are some other breathing tricks you can do too. 
Each saying is for a different emotion. So here are some of the peaceful breathing tricks to get from these other emotions over to peaceful. So we have anger, anxiety, and sadness down here. These are their different um, techniques in order to get towards that peaceful spot. So for anger, you would say, count the spots from one to four, tap, 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 and tap once more. Now fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. Then we have the one from the previous video about anxiety that says, from the tip of my finger to the middle of my palm, I can do this, I can be calm. This worry grew too big and cannot stay. Take a deep breath and blow it away. And then there's the one for sadness, which says, circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around twice more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. Those are some great breathing techniques and strategies that you can try out. Oh, wow. It's working already. Look how calm he looks. And I love the big, cozy chair, too. He has all of his strategies. Spot your feelings. And then your spot pattern breathing over here. Okay, I think I've given you enough tools to help find your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. So if you have any questions about any of these techniques, make sure that you reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you with any of them and check out the activity below.